Morning, lovely viewer. Well, we're here at Eastcroft Roses. Here's the nursery just here. And we're gonna have a walk round. I've spoken to Peter, the owner. He has given me permission to do some filming here today, but um, they're, all, they're all camera shy. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk around and I'm gonna show you some of the, some of the roses. I'm gonna to have to edit some of the um, footage so you get to see the stars of the show. And I'm gonna start here with this rose. This rose is a rose that I do have. It's Kiss Me Kate. It is going a little bit over. We did have rain here yesterday, but the size of this, this is bigger than the one I have that I bought last summer, the tail end of last summer, and it's seen this summer. This one is, is bigger, and I think this one's this one's 20 pounds, and that's in that is in good shape. That's quite a large pot that it's that it's in there. Here's another one. Again, this one is going slightly over. Needs a bit of a, a dead head, but Kiss Me Kate, very fragrant, and it's part of the, the perfumer collection from Cordes, but fantastic. Fantastic condition there. Nice big thick stems coming up. Very good. But let me show you some of these some of these standards. Let me show you this rose. It's got some the most gorgeous standards here. And in their pots, they're they're towering above me. But this is a rose line Renaud. And it is fantastic, very fragrant. It's known as uh, Sweet Parfume de Provence as well. It's a Tantal rose. And this is the rose that I saw at Peter Bill's under the name of the Anniversary Rose. But somebody has got to buy this. They really have, very fragrant. The flowers are just starting to go over. There's another couple here. They all look good. They really do, but look, buds. And a very fragrant, a very fragrant flower. And as a standard, you know, if you've got problems with rabbits, well, a rabbit's not gonna jump that high. I am very tempted to, to get it, I have to say. I am very tempted indeed. Here's another one here, Line Renaud. And I've said to Peter, you know, he needs to, um, the thing with, I was talking to him for, for a little while the names of some roses, it can get very frustrating. You know, they've all got the same name and I wish that everyone would would use the same name all over, all over the world. But this is called Line Renaud um, Sweet Parfume de Provence or the Anniversary Rose. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Got some ballerina standard roses there as well that are looking looking very fine at the moment. What's this one here? Mum in a million. Now I was speaking to Chrissy, uh, or Chris, a lady who works here. She's the lady who um, gift wraps things up. And um, she's given me a couple of her favorite roses and one is Mum in a million. And we'll see another one. We've got a couple of standard iceberg roses here that are looking, are looking very fine. I used to work I've retired now, but I used to work in a, occasionally, very occasionally, I used to go to a residence in central London where the US president used to come and visit every sort of four or five, six years. And he would come to this huge garden, come down and land in his helicopters, six, seven, eight helicopters. And they had about 30 of those iceberg standard roses in the garden and they would all get wiped out. And the gardeners would be would be screwing. But look at these. Look at the standard of these these flowers. Very, very nice indeed. This is a rose called Jasmina. It's a climbing rose, and when in flower, it is the most fragrant rose in my garden most of the time most days let me just untangle that so you can so you can see it it's a lovely flower mine is a little bit floppy 
but when in flower, most days it is the most fragrant rose in, in my garden. A very powerful, unsubtle sort of um, fragrance. I've used the term before, like a brick going through a window. I think they say it's apple. I think they say it's like an apple fragrance. Is the official sort of thing. I might be wrong. But for me, seven days a week, that is a perfume fragrance. These, they, they seem to be more upright than mine. Mine, I think, is in its second summer. But you can see all the buds here, rose jasmina. Mine only flowered for me twice last year. But when in flower, it puts out, it puts out many flowers and that fragrance, it will, it will radiate, it will project. Very powerful fragrance. Rose jasmina. Some are starting to, to go over, but there's, you can see where there's more, there's more just waiting to come through. This one here is probably the, the biggest flower in the, in the nursery. I thought it was Buxom Beauty, but it's actually called Birthday Boy. And it is absolutely massive. And it's fragrant as well. Very sort of upright growth, despite these huge flowers. Lovely, lovely and fragrant. It really is, and like I say, some of the, the size of some of these flowers, this one's going slightly over, but you can see how big it is. I think it's a, I think it's a Delbard rose. rose. I, I might be wrong, but you can see when they first start to come out as well. Very sort of upright, and it is fragrant. I don't know too much about the health of that rose. Right, this area here, it's um, Peter, the owner, said it's like a, a trial sort of area of roses that he's selling for the first time this year and I don't think these roses are as yet on his on his website but I wanted to show you this one this is one that caught my eye yesterday as well it's called Wedding Piano and um, they do look like they would make fantastic sort of wedding flowers huge number of buds on here with upright growth coming through a little bit green initially but it's, it's an, actually a nice effect. The Wedding Piano, I don't know anything about it, but it is one rose that very much caught my eye yesterday. And of course, this rose here, he has more of the uh, Tallulah roses. This, is, this was my favorite yesterday. And I was over the moon when I discovered that it was a Cordes rose. You can see in this area here, they haven't got proper labels, they've just got like a, a marker pen sort of written. So for me to find out that it was a Cordes rose and part of the fairy tale collection, I was over the moon. That says to me that I, I spotted a rose with pedigree and uh, Peter was my witness. We didn't know, or at least I didn't know, that it was part of that fairy tale collection. But here we have Florentina. Climbing rose. Fragrance from it, but I do hear its flowers. They they last for a long time. Very floracious sort of um, climbing, climbing rose. Lovely, lovely. We've got um, more kiss me cakes here as well. But that wedding piano, that was a, a lovely one. This one's just caught my eye as well. I've got no idea the name of this one, Pacific something or other. Pacific Blue, is it? Pacific Blue, that's a lovely flower. But that wedding piano, I've been walking around now, and in terms of today, that, you know, it's upright, considering the number of buds on, on there, and there's one in flower, the wedding piano. Look at that. Focus, look at that there. I'm gonna to have to get home and Google that one because that is gorgeous. The wedding piano. Somebody please buy that one. 
Right, this one here is a lovely fragrant rose. It's called White Parfum de Provence. So whether it's a, a white version of Line Renaud, I don't know, but there's not many. I know that you've got Desdemona as a fragrant white rose, but this one is another one. It's got a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. I actually thought it was iceberg from across the distance when I saw it, but it's a hybrid tea. It's a hybrid tea rose and um, it is lovely and it's got, a, it's got a lovely fragrance to this one. Now this here is Peter's favorite rose, apparently in his nursery, that's, that's his favorite one. I'm not hugely into this sort of bicolor type of type of thing. It's a rose that is called, let me just get the name for it. Pepperins, oh, oh there, there's, the, there's the name there. Looks like a Del Bar rose. But this is the rose that he says is, is his favorite. And I mean, look at the, look at the condition here of these roses. That's what pleases me the most. I'm seeing some roses in fantastic sort of shape. This rose here is called Snazzy and it's an American rose, I believe. And um, it's a rose, Chrissy, the, the lady who does the packaging, she said it's another one of her favorites. She is a rose lover. And it's a shame, I really wanted to get her on camera, but she, she is camera shy. But I did speak to her and I, I wanted to pick her brains about how she selects the roses. And um, it's a shame, it's such a shame that it wasn't on camera because she says that when the list comes through, you know, she, and she does it on her own. When the list comes through from customers, she, um, she comes out and she, she selects the best rose. <laughs> she looks, she takes those few seconds rather than just, yeah, this rose here, then one rose, like, yeah, that one. No, she does look. She does look and she selects the best rose from the ones that are available from that variety. And that's fantastic. That's what I wanted to hear. She said that, but I didn't get it on, on video, which is, a, which is a shame. And not only that, she went on to say that often when people order these roses they will include handwritten notes in with the roses sometimes they can be a paragraph in fact i'm going to ask peter peter i'm just filming um do you do handwritten notes sometimes to your customers yeah look at that that's beautiful that is a beautiful touch that really is I won't film you, don't worry, don't worry, but um, yeah, please, yeah, no, I think that's an amazing touch, I really, I really do, I really do, it's that little sort of um, extra, Christine's got very nice writing, oh, Christine's got, Christine's got the nice writing, unfortunately, they, um, they don't want me to, to film them, but that, I hope you heard that, I know it's windy, this is Rose Special Child, and there's just a gazillion buds here, it's a white rose, it's those little touches that make the difference. Now, I so wish that I could interview them. Um, I'm not an interviewer, of course. I have, in the past, witnessed thousands upon thousands of interviews from the television companies. This is Sheila's perfume. I've been stood quietly at the sidelines watching these things happen. So I've seen it before thousands of times, and that's the major sort of you know television companies from all over the world. But at the end of the day, if someone is camera shy, there is not much more we can do. But look at these roses. What's this one here? That's a lovely red. And we've got Shandos, Shandos Beauty here. His. We all we all know this rose. And they've got several of them here, very fragrant rose. And look at all the buds that are, are waiting to come through. These roses, they are just in fantastic condition. They really are. I know they need to be cut and put in boxes. So many of these roses will be smaller. But all, you know, all these rose companies, they all have that issue. But to see them 
in this condition is um is very very good now here's pure poetry this is a rose that i i got yesterday there's a better one there we know this fantastically fragrant beautiful beautiful but here's the um just to give you an idea and i'm pleased what can i say i'm pleased with the with what i'm seeing this is a dedicated rose rose nursery but i'm gonna in fact there's one here that's a yellow that i've seen that is fantastic yeah i, I did think that no one would be interested in me oh that's fragrant as well what's this one here of course i knew you know people they don't like to to go on camera i knew that would always be a, a risk but i thought it would be i thought it would be good even just a, an introduction that sort of human connection like the handwritten notes that they they often do here but i'm going to leave you i'm going to leave you with my rose of the day and it is this one here wedding piano but i do not know anything about it other than the marker pen sort of label let me get you a better shot look at that that really is in fantastic shape as well really good right lovely viewer i hope you have a lovely day